Hey, how you doing guys? Declination Dan here with uh, part two of, uh, of my planetary uh, imaging here. Um, as you can see on my screen, I'm actually using something called the Pole Master. Um, and this is a really great tool as far as getting a really quick polar alignment um, in a really relatively short amount of time. Uh, I'm going to go through it real quick and show you guys how this kind of works. So um, uh, I have it already. I'm going to connect it right here. That's an old screenshot from before. So I'm going to connect it now right, by hitting connect. Okay. And it's going to ask you to set the parameters to the left to make the stars more visible. Now I'm going to get this out of the way. And here are the parameters that it's talking about. Um, as you go up brighter, it's going to be brighter. You don't need it that bright. And again, a little bit more noisier. But there you go. So Polaris is this guy right here. Okay, so we're going to make sure that Polaris is visible, which it is, and we're going to hit finished. So then we're going to double click Polaris. Okay, double click Polaris and use the rotate slider on, on the left to rotate the template to match up to the stars near Polaris. Now you could use these guys here or your arrow keys on the keyboard. Um, as I move it, it'll go to the five stars. There are five stars that it kind of wants to know. So there's a fifth one right there. And it looks pretty decent, not perfect, but it looks pretty decent. So we're going to hit success on that. If you get this, I always hit no. I don't want to use the access center position because I'm always moving around. So, no. So now you're going to want to choose another star, other Polaris. Now what this is going to do is it's going to find your center of rotation so you can put Polaris there. So you can use a relatively bright one. If you can see it, it's fine. So choose another star other, other than Polaris and double click in on the image. And it's really good right here. Is a zoomed image, so you get kind of close. And we're going to go to that guy right there. And we're going to get it kind of close. And it's going to ask you to rotate your mount at least 30 degrees to the west. Okay, so I use EQ Mod, so I'm going to open up EQ Mod, which is hiding over here. And we're going to make sure that my rate is pretty high, and we're going to go west about 30 degrees and that's about 30 degrees okay hit finished double click the same star again another 30 degrees so now it has a center of rotation now that looks about pretty good there hit finished double click the star again and then you're going to go to your park position. Oh, I'll get in there. There we go. Okay, and you're going to follow this star around this green circle. Hopefully it follows it. So we're going to park the home position down here. You could use whatever software you like as far as getting in the home position. But it looks like it's following that green circle pretty good. Looks like it's straddling it a little bit. I got a bug on my screen. I'm going to get rid of that guy. Sorry if it moved a little bit. And it looks pretty good. Is the axis center correct? Yes, it is correct. Okay, double click Polaris. And that's really pretty good. And you want to make sure the stars are in the correct thing and hit success. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to get Polaris in that little rotating circle right there. Okay, and only by using your mount controls, your altitude, you're going to go to the mount, you're going to move it in altitude and azimuth and get it in the circle so we're going to do that right now sorry about that light and we're going to move on over to my mount and up this way to the left there we go we're going to move that guy up that looks pretty good and then we're going to tighten this guy up a little bit no nope, wrong way pretty damn good. Tighten up a little bit, tighten up a little bit, and that looks pretty good. Okay, so now that we got Polaris in the center, oh, there goes a plane going right by my screen there. All right, <laughs> nice little uh, side entertainment. Okay, so I'm going to hit unpark and restart the tracking on here. Yes, my, my, my computer talks to me. That's Sky Tools uh, Professional Edition, which is another great piece program, but that's for another day. Okay, so now it's Pretty much centered there. We're going to hit finished. 
Double kick Polaris again. Make sure that the, the circles are there. They look pretty good. Hit success. They match. Then you're going to hit this button here. It says start monitor. This gives you the more. That was a coarse polar alignment. And this is your fine polar alignment. So now you want the red box on the green square. The red box on the green circle. And right and left for me is in altitude. That's the wrong way. Oops, that's too much. And close. Not a little too far again. See what that looks like. That looks pretty damn good. All righty. So there we go. And then using the Yasmo bus, hit finished, and you're done. Um, mostly this is pretty good. Um, we could go to a star in a little bit and check it out. Uh, but that's how Pole Master works. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know how it works, and hopefully this helps you out getting a more precise polar alignment. If you do it, it's about $275 with the correct adapter that you may need for your mount. But uh, it's really, really a good, it's probably the best $300 that I have ever uh, spent money on because I used to spend money left and right trying to figure out polar alignment. And this is a wonderful piece of software. It's amazing that it didn't come out sooner. Uh, but if you could get it, get it. Um, if you're doing photography, it's it's a must-have. So um, remember, keep shooting, keep educating, keep having fun, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye-bye.